So when you came out in 2019, you was the number one dual threat in the country. Fifth, you were the fifth, um, you know, top five recruit in the state of California. Yeah. Did your recruitment stretch all the way to the Southeastern Conference, or was it just mainly on the West? Because I'm sure you had offers from yeah. everybody, but nah, I mean like it, serious offers. It was, I had everybody seriously, but I was like, man, I ain't ready to leave the West Coast. So. Mama's boy. Yeah, for sure. I was. Yeah. I, I didn't want to leave the West Coast. I didn't want to go too far, but I didn't want to stay close to home. Why? Look, I'm not asking you <laughs> to bash my school, but why we didn't land you? What what did, what was miscommunication or something? Man, I just didn't want to be in California. You don't want to go to SC. I didn't want to go to SC, UCLA. I didn't want to go up north. Yeah, no, I ain't nothing up north. So, man, ASU. I was over there with Herm, AP. Yeah. Uh, so I knew I knew them guys uh, would take care of me, uh, and I had the opportunity to go out there and play. So you mentioned AP. You were recruited by AP. He was your main, you know, your main guy. Recruited you, brought you into ASU over there with Herm. So you went basically into, uh, I would call it a pro, you know, a pro style family yeah. atmosphere. Yeah. The way things are run with the pros, and the pros they ain't gonna hand, they ain't gonna carry your hand. To go to class, right? Ain't no class. So that's kind of the model that was being put together at ASU. What was it like, though, being able to play for a guy like Herm Edwards, knowing that he was a former pro coach? Uh, it was dope, man. I was in his office every day. He'll tell you. I was in the office every day. He he giving me game on, you know, how to be a pro, how to maneuver uh, when we get the opportunity. And not even just me. Um you know, the people that, that, that he kind of took under his wing was me, um, Brandon Ayuk, uh, Rashad White. So so guys like that. And we was all just in there just listening and talking to them. Him, uh, obviously AP, we had Marvin Lewis there. So, we, you know, we had guys that coached at the highest level, played. Uh, they know the game. So, like, we in there trying to soak up as much knowledge as we can because we all have aspirations to go into the league. Uh, everybody's journey was just different. But... I remember we just in there just talking to him. He telling us about uh, how we supposed to approach practice, how we supposed to practice like a pro, you know, stuff that's gonna make us last in this league. Yeah, rumor, rumors was out there pre-draft that you was trying to facilitate a way to Vegas. That didn't happen, whether the rumors were true or not, whatever the case is. I personally wanted to see them give up 100 picks to get you <laughs> to get to Vegas because I'm a Raider fan, but not only am I a Raider fan, I'm an AP fan, and yeah. I also know that the relationship goes a long ways, uh, especially at the quarterback position. Now you got to compete against him and play against the Raiders. How you think that's going to, you know, how you going to feel about that? I told him I'm going to beat him. I hear, <laughs> hear what it is, man, at the end of the day. Uh, if I could have played with him, I could have played with him. But if not, like, now you got to see me at, at some point. So, And at ASU, I don't even know. I didn't even know uh, Ricky Pearsall went to ASU. Yeah. You're like, like, seriously? Mm -hmm. Brandon Ayuk, Ricky mm -hmm. Pearsall, you had some, some weapons at your disposal. Yeah. I was at the Arizona State-Oregon game. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was at that game when the double move to Ayuk <laughs> on, on D'Amador. I tell D'Amador about that all the time. You got hit with one. Yeah, he did. Now, and so when you look at the guys that you had at ASU that has gone on now into the pros, when you look back at the talent level, what goes through your mind? Man, we should have been Rose Bowl champions, Pac-12 championships. We had the talent. Yeah. I mean, you see every, everybody, man, uh, from me to, you know, IU. Demo, look at Demo chasing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crazy, crazy thing is, oh, crazy no. thing is we, before that play, uh, IU come to me. He's like, I'm a stutter. Yeah, because he was at sitting eight. at the sticks. He's like, I'm a stutter, and you know that because we ran that, we ran something earlier, and and Demo tried to jump it. Yeah. So he's like, later on, he was like, I'm a stutter, and he was like, just sit on it. I'm, a, I'm gonna get open. So. Man, I swear to God, the people that was sitting with me, we were sitting there. And he tried to jump something earlier. Yeah. And I saw the formation and everything. And I saw he was sitting at the sticks. I said, he going to try to, he going to sit at the sticks. They're going to go right by him. And when it happened, <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. Nah, because him and, him and uh, Thomas. Yeah. They, they was super aggressive. They was trying to jump everything. Um, when, you, when you look at the video, the viral video, the trash talking to the teammates, you seen that video? Yeah. You want to see it again? I'm going to 
Let's we got that video. Do. We should, yeah. Yeah, we got that video somewhere. Can we hear it? Can we we know what was said. <laughs> what, what was said? I want to know exactly what was said. They basically said I suck. Really? Yeah. Well, what, well, I got a question. What do you have to say to them now? <laughs> I don't even got nothing to say. Yeah. Hey, what, everything happened for a reason. Right. Yeah, but what? But 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 it, 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 you didn't suck. The team sucked in general. <laughs> Just to keep it one hundred. <laughs> like for real though, no. what am I gonna sit back? I'm gonna sit back at ASU. Y'all getting ready? Ain't no telling what's getting ready to happen at that program. I'm Same. gonna just sit back and accept what happened. No, I'm not. Y'all go. Uh, uh. Nope. We get up out of here. I got a future to to think about. Not now really. you know. You look at it, and you the number two pick in the draft. You go to a team like Washington. You know you gonna have your bumps. Trust me. It ain't gonna be. It ain't gonna be smooth. It ain't LSU. <laughs> you know you gonna have to figure it all out. But that's okay. Yeah. Everybody ain't going to be C.J. Stroud. It's just not going to happen that way. Facts. Everybody ain't going to be Caleb Williams landed. This, this, it'll, this sort of Caleb Williams situation in Chicago, it'll probably never happen again. Facts. Because when you're the number one overall pick, you go to sorry-ass teams like I went to. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you the year I got there, 2-14, the year I landed, we went 1-15, then we had to turn it around yeah. when we got a new coach. That's just what happens with number one overall picks. We absolutely hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more from us, hit that subscribe button for all videos, full episodes, and exclusive content from the show. And don't forget to find all facts, no breaks, on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.